Well, hello there. It's Jeff Barr here at AWS in Seattle. Here's a few launches from this week that caught my eye. First one, some updates to AWS Classroom Training. We've updated three of the courses with the most modern best practices, along with some service updates. The Developing on AWS course now includes more lab time and is designed for intermediate developers. The AWS Certified Developer Associate Exam Readiness course now aligns to the exam that we released in June. And finally, the System Operations on AWS course designed for developers and admins. It covers tooling and automation, scaling, serverless, containers, and database services. If you're interested, show this video to your boss, have him send you to training, and you can visit AWS Training to learn more. Now let's move on and talk about S3 Select. This is a super cool feature that allows you to extract needed data from an S3 object without processing the entire object. It can improve performance and reduce costs and is a great match for your big data use cases. As you might already know, S3 Select already supports both CSV and JSON objects. This launch adds support for Apache Parquet, JSON arrays, and CSV and JSON files compressed with bzip2. Finally, we added CloudWatch metrics to monitor your usage of S3 Select. Once again, this is a really cool feature, great for your big data use cases, check it out. Next up, we've got seven new managed rules for AWS Config. These rules help to evaluate your AWS resource configuration for compliance with best practices. Some of the new rules look for non-compliant patches, proper use of guard duty, and public RDS snapshots. One special rule looks for overly permissive S3 bucket policies and gives you added protection. Corey Quinn, this rule's for you. Thanks for watching. Please drop me an email, shout me out on Twitter, send me your ideas, send me your suggestions. Love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week. This one gives you 96 VPC. <laughs> <laughs>